Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, we want to thank our Patreons for their support. Uh, exclusive videos go up on Patreon uh, several times each week, and everything goes up on Patreon as we try to alternate between the YouTube channels. And also, we are on Brady and Rumble and BitChute as well. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You know, as we watch society kind of split, and it really does feel like things are splitting. Um, here, this is in the UK where there's a group of, uh, I, don't, I don't know what was said. You know, here in reality, we can't quite hear. All we can hear is yelling and stuff and somebody is acting erratically in the car as you know the people on the streets are yelling at the people in the cars and then pounding on the car and then the guy gets out of the car and he goes grabs like some sort of stick or something and starts swatting at people this is happening more and more all the time society seems to be falling apart in so many ways uh yeah at the same time people are really coming together yesterday was our day that we do our shopping and make our rounds we go to the farmer's market and you know we see the same people in these small communities and everything in the small community is just fine uh, and and in fact i think for most of the people in, where we are i think they're sort of aware of what's going on but at the same time oblivious because we're not experiencing it, it directly here you know, everybody is still kind of going on and doing their own things. But I'll tell you that I notice, and I, I'm always pointing out to Cindy and getting her feel, that our neighbors, it seems like they are getting more cows. Uh, cows are popping up in pastures um, left and right around us where they hadn't been before. People are putting little ponds in. It really feels like people are preparing uh, to support themselves in our little location and in the community surrounding us. Very obviously to me, uh, people are getting ready for the chaos. Yet in these little towns around here, everything is, is pretty good, honestly. It is pretty good. We're not experiencing the chaos in the cities. And we had one of our most beloved friends and family members come and join us and move away from one of the biggest cities in, in the country and is now, you know, a neighbor. And she's doing amazing. And, and I don't think she, while she was in the city, I don't think she could realize completely how much all these signals were affecting her consciousness but you know every time we see her she just looks uh, more and more beautiful vibrant happy and free so that's a good thing <laughs> you know i mean not everyone has the ability to get out of the city but if you even have the ability to get to a quiet park i mean just to get anywhere where there's less buzz that is going to benefit you and whatever you focus on you're going to be able to bring that into fruition um, you know, create your own pathways, create your own way out of the chaos. And, and sometimes that might look different for someone, but I would definitely say get out, get grounded so that your he head is more clear because that buzz is, it's really, I don't know, it just gnaws at your soul and you're not able to, <clears throat> you're not able to concentrate and focus your ability to manifest um, with all of those signals. Yeah, this was just something that uh, hit me like a ton of bricks because Cindy's always talking about um, how the control system views us as ants. And you take uh, red ants and black ants and they'll get along and do just fine setting up their own thing, busy working away. But you, you pick them up and you shake them and all of a sudden you create the conditions for war and all sorts of uh, chaos and division. And this is what the system does. And this is a study that was funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. And scientists genetically modified ants to dull their sense of smell. Wait a minute. Do you remember the plague upon the land? Do you remember people having no sense of smell or dulling the sense of smell? Do you think that's a coincidence? Hmm. Well, let's go a little farther. So... What happened was it broke their ability to form societies. 
Whoa! You know, again, if you haven't picked up on it yet, and I know I'm speaking to the same, you know, 99% every day, and you guys get it. But again, trying to wake up those that don't get it, it's going to be a challenge because a lot of them, um, you know, it, it, the senses have been dulled, It'll, just like this is, is saying. So this, this explains so much to what's going on. And yet still, there are going to be some people that when you explain it slowly to them, they're going to just give you a dull look. And unfortunately, uh, it's all part of the zombie apocalypse that's ongoing. S scientists use the gene editing tool CRISPR to knock out a gene in the clonal radiator ants. As you see here, this gentleman is talking about this. This has never been done before. Oh, yeah. Well, publicly. Extremely challenging. It took two years of injecting more than 10,000 eggs. Again, genetic modification. This is what the system has always done for thousands of years. The modified insects couldn't form receptors, which convert many smells into brain signals completely changed their behavior as humans behavior humans have already been modified homo sapiens is a modified version of something that was more whole more complete again we are not the body the body is sim simply uh, the vehicle that we operate when we're in this reality so again as i've said many times what they've done is changed out porsches and, and given us all Yugos, so to speak, you know, Ferraris and Lamborghinis is what we are in uh, other ages. And a lot of this is well known. More and more people are catching on to all this. Normal ants avoid the smell of a Sharpie marker. As you can see, Sharpie lines. The genetically modified ants didn't seem to notice. This is also a big explanation. You get people that say, I never see anything. I never hear anything. I have never seen a ghost. I've never seen a UFO. I've never, you know, it doesn't exist. Uh, I, I have never experienced it. Well, it's because so many people haven't the ability to because of the fact that we've been genetically modified and they're not doing anything to reverse the genetic modifications, which we can. We can still override the system. We can still reboot our systems. And we do that through first cleaning up the vehicle, detoxing it as much as possible because it's toxically burdened with such an overload that this is a big part of why we are seeing, again, turbo cancers and all sorts of disease uh, taking hold, wiping out people way before their time. It's a toxic overload. And, you know, what are they putting in the clouds nowadays? It's always changing, but more and more people are aware that our weather is completely manipulated. And even our forecast, our forecast changed 10 degrees in like a day. It went from being forecast in the low 70s to forecast for 60, and we only hit like 53 yesterday. What the heck? Yeah, well, because the skies are always plastered and, and they're always genetically modifying things and they're always experimenting on us. We even know, we've shared with you guys, that in the 1970s, it had come out that by the early 1970s, the government had admitted to over 300 times that they had used biological components to test out certain things and see what would happen on humans in the U.S., our own government, your dollars. Your taxpayer dollars are paying for experiments on you and your family. This is the insanity that is going on. And meanwhile, we are, you know, obviously all of us are concerned with all the infinite money, which ultimately is our labor that goes to do nothing but death and destruction. But it's, it's even more than that. It's, it's even setting the traps for humanity that are invisible for most and they don't even see it and even you know also limiting what humans can possibly and potentially do they're always doing that and they're using our slave labor to do it oh but so much of the world can't see like this genetically modified ant doesn't even notice doesn't even notice because he's lost what he once had homo sapiens sapiens 
are a downgrade from what was here before. They'll make it look like Neanderthals, Denisovans, and others, uh, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, others, were vastly inferior. Well, inferior as far as slaves go, because they were too connected to the planet. And then we get people from the religious point of view, I, I, I have a father in heaven, but I have no spiritual mother. How were you born? How, how do you understand? You know, you, well, the problem is they don't understand anything. They, they are so clueless. The system has made them just genetically modified zombies, almost incapable of waking up, unfortunately. So this, this tells us so much. These genetically modified ants couldn't smell the pheromones that make ants cluster. The natural is being taken away. So then they wandered alone. And it wasn't just their behavior that changed. They formed fewer brain structures that process smells. Some people don't believe that Cindy could do the things that she can do. Again, I have yet to find somebody that has passed on that she can't tell where they are and, and how they are doing. But this is normal for humans. We, we know this when we're outside of a dark age. If we were not genetically modified and dumbed down and kept in these frequency signals that keep us from being able to have clarity, it's not abnormal. And we had a visit from one of our uh, dear brothers and family members, you know, who is awakened and, and who does have a light body that's turned on, pineal gland that is working. Um, and so it's wonderful to, again, talk to another person that totally gets it, that can see uh, w clearly what's going on. And even from a scientific point of view, as, as he shared in uh, the video yesterday, because he is a doctor and, and has been through that side of things. The modified ants formed fewer brain structures that process smell. When you delete this gene, you get this massive, really dramatic reduction in the number of glomeruli in the brain. And this is what has been done with Homo sapiens. So the meeting point between the different sensory information and the information that goes deeper in the brain where processing and behavior is generated is changed. They're the ability to perceive things as clearly as we have in past is gone. And this is what they're doing right now. This is their number one project is to, again, stop the ascension process, slow down the expansion of human consciousness because they're losing their slaves. It's just that simple. They will lose their slaves. So if you choose to stay in the system, which it's obvious, that's going to, um, you know, the... I, um, M period, D period, you know, the D period, R period, following big F-A-R-M-A -A and, and doing everything that the system is going to advise you to do, eating those, you know, fake foods and, and being subject to the frequencies, they're going to be able to have a higher chance of keeping somebody asleep. And, and, and maintaining their control over them because they really, what they want is the source spark in you. They want that eternal flame that is the human soul to use uh, on a continuous basis as an energy source. Mm -hmm. they, they want that source spark to be controlled. They want to use that source spark for um, <clears throat> things that they want to run, you know, the, for... for uh, universities for buildings for banks for their businesses they want to be able to control everyone like a puppet and sometimes it does get frustrating because you can tell there's so many people still asleep and we kind of only have one another <laughs> you know we're kind of out here on a limb we're all we're all a little bit of a black sheep of our family and we're all so spread far apart but you know, I think the reason for this is so that people can be activated. When you're activated and another person comes closer to you, it is, it's like a tuning fork. And this is something that uh, they cannot change. They can't change certain laws of nature. So if you're uh, 
close to someone or you're working with someone that is an activated tuning fork and you come near them, you become activated as well. And you will stay activated as long as you are near them. But if you go away and you stop doing certain habits, that that activation can then fall away. So it's it's a change in life that, that we have to do. It's a change in how we behave the food is so, so critically important, what we put into our bodies. And it's, it is pretty easy to say, oh, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to eat this because I'm really starving and I don't have time um, to do anything different. But uh, unfortunately, that's one of the things that doles the, the activated tuning fork is what we put into our bodies. We have like ultra purified water and we, you know, put in, uh, we put in, uh, minerals we got to put minerals back in because the water is something in your body that helps everything else function to a very high degree so i mean starting with your diet looking at the water you're drinking i i wouldn't even <clears throat> drink water out of a bottle anymore not a plastic bottle find something else a good quality stainless steel because even in the uh, regular stainless steel there's actually like a layer of lead inside of that between the walls of the stainless steel. And I've heard that that's able to leach into your water. So even if you're trying to go a cleaner route, uh, there's they always they still catch you up on something else. But that I don't want that to prevent anyone from trying to do something better, continue to do something better. And when you know better, you do better. But this study really... I mean, it speaks volumes because look what they're doing. They are separating us, getting us in our own little homes because there's safety and change in numbers. And if they have us all separated in our individual little slots, then we're not able to come together and help activate one another and hold that activation to to a higher frequency and get out of their reach. So they they know what they're doing it's so clear and from our aspect or from our point of view you know i find it very frustrating because i can see it so clearly and and not enough people in my opinion there's not enough people that are awakened but um sometimes you just have to accept what is and and trust that nature will find a way nature is trying to help as much as possible and again through the sun so this is again why they say lather on the sunscreen because they don't want you regaining lost abilities they don't want you getting the upgrades that are truly coming from source the the real source of everything the creator of this universe as well is is sending us upgrades via the sun as we go and say bye bye to the kali yuga but what the what the system is doing is cr trying to create an eternal kali yuga for those they can trap that is truly what they are doing and and so there will be those that will willingly go into and stay into the system unfortunately as we've said i i really don't think most will awaken uh but hey you know we can only awaken those that are are ready to awaken so thank you guys as always for your support we couldn't do it without you guys please do share in whatever way you can this information with others uh, to try to help others let us pay it forward uh, as best as we we can and and hope again that we can cause some positive change to counteract the negative timelines are always always changing constantly changing and even though we are facing a very, very ugly, strong, powerful looking, dark and nasty adversary, show no fear and it'll go take off. Allow your friends to help you. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.